to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Fear. We are here at Underbelly with Tumi Maraki. Tumi, you are starting your own stand-up show called Her Story. Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, Her Story is uh, my one-woman show that I did last year. And it's literally me just having a run. Um, it's like a gossip session with your girl, because I actually cannot even say her story explores the journey of no. It's just literally uh, an hour of me and the audience is having a good time. So we're at the fringe at the moment. Do you find you had to, to change any of the stand-up um, suits for any of our comedy culture over here? OMG! Okay, in fact, I've been in South Africa most of the time. The only time I went out was to Ghana. That's the only time I performed outside my country. When you get to the UK, which is super PC, where <laughs> also for the first time I find myself as a minority race. I'm like, oh my gosh! Oh my god, that's so awesome! Oh. <laughs> How do I explain rhino? Uh, they want me to bring a one-man show to the UK. I was like, um, don't know, hey, am I ready? They're like, come on, let's do it. Um, but it's been a learning curve. I, I learn every day. Um, I'm learning to slow down because I realize people don't understand my accent, which offends me because I'm like, the missionary taught me this English. You taught me how to speak like this. And then I get here and get, I'm like, thank you, yeah. I don't care what you're saying. Well, in the, in the show, you talk about your husband, you talk about your girlfriend, you talk about your kids. Have they come along and seen it and say, they like it? <laughs> they love it. Um, my husband thinks I'm hilarious on stage, but when I try stuff on him at home, he's like, why do you leave all the crap for me? Why do I do <laughs> Wow, do you know you're funny on stage? Like, yes, I, I know. I have to bring it home sometimes. <laughs> um, my kids are too young. I've been asked though um, if I've ever let them watch my uh, my, my comedy. I think they'll watch it without my knowing. But when they're about 16, they'll be like, okay, guys, I can afford therapy, so watch the show, <laughs> and then we'll take you to see someone. <laughs> now, you are a very talented dancer, and you're particularly, <laughs> you're particularly skilled at twerking. I was, I was wondering if you could give us a little demonstration. Um, can we not call it a skill? I just have a big ass, so it's easier to maneuver. <laughs> I can't just work. Can you, can you teach me how to work? I'm a, yes! I'm a terrible dancer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So listen, the first principle of dancing is you free your mind, your ass will my mind. Free your mind. <laughs> okay, free my mind. Okay. It's a, it's a thoughtless thing to do. You don't think about it. Don't try and control it. Okay. Oh, okay. So you relax, turn your ass. Your discretion is advised. Yes. <laughs> PG. <laughs> okay, now relax your knees. Are your knees relaxed? Are your knees relaxed? Your knees My knees are relaxed. My knees relax. Now you just drop your ass. Just relax. <laughs> shake off a pee. Like you need to shake off a wee. You're taking a wee. There's no loose paper. So you shake off your knee. And then you drop it. 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 I don't think I'm doing it. No. I, I think what I'm are you doing? doing? Show me what you're doing. There's not a boogie, man. <laughs> Okay, if you had a wee and there was no loo paper, what would you do? How would you shake it off? You don't want to shake it off like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, let, don't move this, just move your arms. Okay, let me teach you the wrinkles. I think I'm a lost cause. No, no, you're not. I'm going to teach you the wrinkles. Okay. Can you do this? Just this, look. There's too much wobbling. No, just too do it with your knees. Do it with your knees. Just do it with your knees. Can you, no, leave your bum out of it. Stop, stop. Knees, just do it. You see what I'm doing with my knees? Right. Now. Yeah, that's all. Okay, fantastic. Um, they're, they're gonna need therapy. <laughs> the camera guy. I have a feeling this may be edited out. The look on their faces. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're like, there is way too much water. <laughs> Let's return to our seat. I think it's safe down here. <laughs> You can work that booty. And what I what I loved about your show that I found it really identifiable. I'm, I was saying to me earlier that there's a bit that you talk about walking up the hill. Yeah. So many hills in Edinburgh. Uh, and how you, you have to stop and there's people watching you from behind. And you, you, I mean, you can explain. You know, yeah, I, I do get that feeling that you know the thin people waiting downstairs to go up the stairs to see this fat girl going up the steps and all stop and they start making bets like you know bet you a tenner bet you a tenner she's gonna stop halfway you know and there's that one guy who believes you he's like she looks spicy she'll make it all the way <laughs> oh fatty oh fatty you can't do it fatty and i'm like <laughs> I swear, if Nelson Mandela had to do his long walk to freedom in Edinburgh, he would have given up long ago. I'd be like, Africa, be strong. Uh -uh. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Your show is cool. It's called Pastory. Yeah. So what is the Michael Jackson connection? Um, because I've always been obsessed with Michael Jackson. Um, when I first started dancing publicly, it was the Michael Jackson. When I first sang in English, when I didn't even know English, we sang Michael Jackson songs. We're like, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. So, so, na, so, na, na, beat it. <laughs> Until like years later, they were like, it's beat it actually. Oh! Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. So, so, na, so, na, 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 na. <laughs> Wonderful, absolutely hilarious. Do go see her show. It's on at 9 p.m. Please see my show. It'll feed the starving children of my household. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I, I can't tell it better than that. Um, <laughs> Sumi, it's on at 9 p.m. at Assembly, and you can book tickets. It's on all the way until the 26th of August, so definitely go check it out. Thank you so much. <laughs>